the following brands have in one way or another contributed to this video. Hello everyone, here is Max and in this video I'm gonna reveal the results of the Telly vs Strat game, which I've started on my channel a few weeks ago. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, there is a link to that video in the description below. Go and watch that one first before continuing with this one. No, seriously, stop watching right now, go watch that one, because otherwise you're only gonna have a half of the fun. Alright? You've been warned, proceed at your own risk. Now, without any further talks, let's get right to it. The A caster versus the B caster. Here they are. Well, more than 50% of you got it completely wrong, which is absolutely fine. I myself would never be able to tell which one is which. Yes, there is a tiny little difference in sound, but nothing dramatic, nothing that couldn't be fixed with a slight turn of a tongue knob or in the past. This is the final video of my series of four videos on Fender guitars, and it revealed a couple of interesting things. First of all, that there is a bigger difference between different Stratocaster models rather than between American Pro Tele and American Pro Strat. Well, if you look at the specs of American Pro Tele and American Pro Strat, you will see that the wood is the same, the neck is the same, the frets are the same, the tuners are the same, the nut is the same, the body shape is almost the same, pretty much everything is the same, and there is enough evidence to believe that the pickups on American Pro Tele and American Pro Strat are exactly the same, and a simple resistance measurement will probably prove that. The only difference is the bridge, and this is what we could hear in the video. It also revealed that we have a very different understanding of what clean sound is. For me, as I believe for many of my viewers, everything that doesn't go through a lead channel of a high-gain amp will be clean by definition, but obviously not for all of us. And here are a couple of hilarious comments I received about that. 
That's a bad way to demo them. They should play them through a clean amp. Should be, I guess, which overdrive pedal quiz, as that is a major tone coloration for both. But okay, B caster bridge sounds telly. Pedal sounds like OCD. A telly, B strat. But of course, the difference would be much better audible with more gain. And the last one got A and B sorted out correctly. Here is one more hilarious comment. All of those are probably Harley Bentons. No, they are not. But I have a video on five Harley Bentons, and they have much bigger differences in sound than these two Fenders. And with that said, my favorite comment, and the one that explains the whole situation in the best way, is this one. Can I just point out that perhaps if setting a Fender Deluxe Reverb to 4.5 with no pedals or other effects is enough to skew the results, then maybe the guitars don't sound all the different to begin with. If I need the audio equivalent of a microscope to hear the difference, just how different are they to the human ear, I wonder, in normal recording live conditions? Alright guys, that's it for now. Let me know what you think about this kind of blind tests in the comments below. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button right there and don't forget about the bell button to get notifications every time I'm posting a new video. A special thanks goes to people in the list below. Those are my patrons. If you want to say thanks, hit the button on the left and join the list. Well, that's it for now. Have a good day and I'll see you soon.